One, two, three. How are you going? One, two, three. What's going on, you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Zen 4 so you can play with keyboard and mouse on the Xbox or PS4. Now, before we start this video, if any of y'all, any of y'all in the comments could leave a comment and tell me I was playing the PS4 and I could not talk on the mic or hear sound when I plugged into the PS4 controller. If there's a way to fix that and you could leave it in the comments, I'd be really appreciative of that. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's based on the Xbox. The Xbox works fine. So here we go. So here's the mouse right here. Okay. So you plug the wire, the USB into the 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 left port, the second the second port with the two dots on it. See that one has one, that one has two dots, and that one has three. So you plug it in. Go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so it's plugged in. And then you get your your keyboard USB, and it has to be wired. Both the keyboard and mouse have to be wired, or it won't work with the Zen 4. So then you plug it in. You plug into the first port, which is the one dot. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And there you go. That's two cords plugged in. And now, the third, this port right here, has three dots on it. It's on the other side. That is what you plug in. You you plug in with your controller. So you gotta have a USB which is right here. This is my USB. See it right here? You gotta buy this one yourself. It's like a Samsung charger cord. You just gotta get one of these. And then all you do is you plug it into there. Let me plug that in there. Sorry, I'm using a phone so it won't be the best quality. It won't be the best like camera view. So, I went ahead, plugged it in. And now I gotta get my controller. Let me get my controller real quick. Which is right here. I do have the um, Xbox One Elite controller, but I don't use the controller anymore. I, tr I like doing the PS4 controller, but not that I don't like the Xbox One controller anymore. So then you, you plug that in right there, right where that USB port is. You plug that in. So go ahead and do that. Look, can you get it in there? What the heck? <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, I'm sorry. That's in there. Ah, give me a sec. Sorry, I'm having troubles. Okay, and there you go. And now there's one more port you gotta put in, right there. This cord comes with it. You wanna use the sturdy one, the sturdy USB. Which, okay, you use this side to plug that into the PS4, and not PS4, this is M4. So let me go ahead and do that. Plug it in there. And there you go, now it's all plugged in. Oh wait, never mind. You, know, you plug this one into, if it's the PS4, you plug it into the front, I'm pretty sure. And it's the Xbox is on the side, right here. Right on the side, you plug that in. That's pretty easy. So now it's connected. And yes, and yes, that's how you do it. And then now you gotta turn it on. And if it's not like connecting, your, your like controller's not connecting, I mean not your controller, your um, mouse and keyboard's not working, unplug this one right here and plug it back in. That should work. And make sure your controller's on. And it says, Fully battery, but I don't really need to be full battery, but it does help. And it usually stays charged because it charges with, by this thing plugged into the PS, <laughs> plugged in by the Zen 4 into the Xbox. So now it's turning on. Let's give it a sec. And uh, make sure your um your mouse is at max DPI. As you can see right here, this is how I turn it up. It's it's not the highest right now because I was using it for my computer. So now it's turned all the way up. Some mouses have buttons like that. That was a cheap mouse, like twenty five dollars. The keyboard is twenty five dollars, and they work great. You don't really need an expensive keyboard. Unless you have the money, then go ahead and buy it. Here's my um, headset. As you can see, you can plug it in. I'll go ahead and plug that in, so then I can show you in a party that it works. They're able to talk. Now, you won't be able to hear game sound, because I don't, I'm not gonna put a game in, but you can tell, I, but yeah. But yeah, game sound does work, and chat works on the Xbox. PS4, I haven't figured out. I'm pretty sure it could go like a different, like two, like some ports or some crap. No, I put my password in, because someone, I don't know if it's someone on YouTube, or like someone, a fan, not a fan, a hater. Went to my account and um, got into my account somehow. I'm not sure how. So I had to change my password. So give me a sec. Okay, now I got signed in. Now let me go to the party. Oh, oh if I guess I'll use the keyboard. See right here? Watch. I'm using the keyboard. Here. I'll get a shot where I got both of them. Sorry. 
Not the best at this camera thing. Okay. And then as you can see, let's say let's go to party. Start. And there's not much input lag at all. I can't I can't tell anything. So when we talk, hello, hello. When we talk again. You see the hello, hello, you can see it though I'm bright now, like the red light flash. Hello. See? So it's working. So that's how you do it. So let me go over it one more time real fast. So you plug the mouse in on the, this side with the two dots. You plug the keyboard in the left side with the one dot. Plug the buy your own USB or Samsung charger cord and plug that into the con your um, controller. The cord that comes with the um, Zen 4, you plug that into the Xbox or PS4. And that's pretty much it. Make sure, and if it doesn't work like I said, unplug this and plug it back in. And you should be good. And it should be working. So... So I hope you guys enjoyed, and hit that like button, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.